And today we're going to go over the first of the expansion packs. This is actually one of my favorite ships. Um, these are how they come packaged. This is the Gore Portis. Um, this one's already been opened, obviously, but these are what you're looking for if you're looking to get the expansions. And we're going to open it up and show you everything that comes in there. So as you can see, while the, the little expansion packs are kind of small, they come with a lot in them. Um, this one even has some duplicates of some stuff, which are really nice because you can mount multiples. Uh, we will start off with our movement dial. You can see here, Breen Battlecruiser. It's got the Dominion Logan, or logo. This is the first uh, Dominion ship we've actually gone through. So now we've done one of each faction. Um, Maneuverability-wise, it is a pretty maneuverable ship, capable of U-turns. It's a pretty fast ship. So, uh, we'll get our actual movement chart up here so you can see. There's your Breen Battle Cruiser. No reverse, but definitely maneuverable. Nothing to slouch at. There we go. Our name version is the Gore Portis. You can see our unique icon, the Dominion Faction. Uh, we have three attack, two defense, four hull, four shields. Not too shabby. Um, my personal favorite is this ability right here. You must be locked on a ship to fire a torpedo, but you do not discard your target lock when doing so. So you don't need to reacquire a target every time you fire a torpedo. Uh, got our ship icon down here. We have evasive maneuvers target lock, and sensor sweep. We've got four weapon system upgrades available and a crewman. Our generic version is uh, one less shield. I believe we got one less weapon system and two points cheaper. Does not have the cool ability. I think that ability is worth two points alone. So I would definitely do that. As far as captains go, this one gives you two choices. Start out with Thought Gore. He's a six uh, command captain, not too bad uh, for four points. Makes all of your weapon upgrades cost one less point, which is amazing considering the base ship here has what three, four weapon? Yeah, three on the generic, four on the named. So uh, definitely nice to have. Uh, Sar only has a two captain skill, which is kind of weak. The picture uh, is one of those dark ones that are hard to see. But uh, he lets you roll an extra defense die, so definitely worth it, though you're going to be shooting last a lot of the time. And then your generic Breen, which I don't care who says Star Wars came out first. That is the same outfit Princess Leia when, wore when she went to uh, see Jabba the Hutt. But anyway... Here's your generic no-name Breen Captain. Crew-wise, you have a Breen Aid. If you have your scan active, uh, he lets you convert one of your blank results into a hit. Not bad for two points. Now we get to where the uh, the Breen Pack really shines here. You get two of these. I'm only going to show you one, obviously, because they're the same. This is the Breen version of Photon Torpedoes. A really cool picture on there, too. I don't know how well it comes out. Um, five uh, attack dice. Any range. You uh, normally you have to spend your target lock and disable this card. If you're using the named version, you do not have to disable the target lock to perform it, which is just disgusting. You still disable the torpedoes, though. Um, it can be fired from the front or rear arcs, and it's five points. But it's the the any range, and because of the ship's ability not having to expend the target lock makes this a just a disgusting uh, weapon. And like I said, they comes with two. And you can equip both of these on the ship, and thanks to the one captain, they cost one point less if you do that. And uh, you can fire one and immediately fire the other one the next turn. 
this is probably the most powerful weapon item in the game currently. And again, you got two of these. It's the uh, energy dissipator. Gets three dice, range of one. And now uh, you disable this card and you roll your dice. If any of those hit, the ship that you hit suffers no damage. Instead, it gets one of these energy dampening tokens. And lots of bad stuff happen. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, then you can immediately uh, make another attack against the same ship using a different weapon. So you could use your photon torpedoes. You could use your main guns. Whatever you want. Um, if you put this on any ship other than a Breen ship, there's a plus five uh, points instead of just the normal plus one for being cross-faction. Um, that even applies to other Dominion ships because it specifically says non brain so that kind of hurts. You can't even put this on your uh, other Dominion ships like the uh, Beetle that's coming out soon or the uh, um, Cardassian ships. Now, what does the energy dissipation do? This is the bad thing. It comes with its own card. That's how you know it's bad. It even has the icon up there of the energy dissipation. There we go. A ship with an energy dissipation token assigned to it follows these rules. Number one. As the ship receives it, you disable all of its shields and remove its cloak token if it has one. Number two, while it has that token, it cannot attack or raise its shields. Number three, during the planning phase, you don't get to assign a move because you're basically just drifting. And four, during the activation phase, the owner moves your ship as if it was assigned a white forward one maneuver. So basically you're just drifting in space. Um, after you drift for that turn, you can remove the uh, dissipation tokens from the ship and can perform normal actions. So basically for one whole turn after you shoot them with this, their shields are down, they can't move, and they can't attack. Very disgusting. And you can equip two of them since there's two cards. Um, this is, I've been forgetting to show these in the video, but every ship comes with an extra peg. And I showed in my base video about the uh, starter set, what they're for. If you get two ships that are next to each other, it raises one up so that they don't hit. To represent that you're actually fighting in three-dimensional space. This is a neat addition that only the um, expansion packs come with. They're in the starter set, and I'm sure you heard me complain about it, that um, these are the mission cards. And the missions in the starter set are actually in the book, so you don't get these nifty cards. But you can see here it says this one's for three players, one brain, two federation. Uh, there's objectives. It tells you how to, there's actually a map that tells you how to set up the board. It just basically keeps things from getting stale and being boring. There's lots of different ways to play. Um, they have their own scoring for victory points for meeting conditions during the battle. And it gives you something really fun to do. Um, all of them have a kind of theme to it that goes with a episode of the show or a movie. So those are kind of neat. Uh, over here you have your four shield tokens. You have your base of maneuvers, your sensor sweep, uh, your target lock, which if, you pay, if you've been paying attention, everyone has a different letter. So each ship has its own unique uh, target lock. Uh, you have your critical hit and auxiliary power. You have your disable tokens. And uh, that's pretty much everything that comes in the starter or in the uh, expansion pack. As for the ship, this is one of my favorite ships. I think there's a great amount of detail on here. They do look kind of shiny and new. A wash would darken it down and make it look a little uh, more battle worn. The one thing on the Breen ship that does annoy me. Maybe it's because it's my favorite one. Is that the mount that they put the uh, thing on is blue. So it really stands out. But, uh. And there you have your stats for the Gore Portis. And you flip it over to your generic Breen Battlecruiser. Definitely one of my favorite ships. I'm going to be picking up a, a couple more. It's a little soft. And once you fire that energy dissipator. I see you being a large target. Which is another reason I want two of them. But I will definitely be picking up multiples of that one. 